first clip you saw was all the parts necessary to build the dual bellow pump. This clip is an exploded view of the dual bellow pump before being put together. Joseph Underwood will now demonstrate the construction of the inflow outflow section of the dual bellow pump. You'll notice we are not cementing the components together because this pump is for construction demonstration only. Please refer to the dual bellow pump manual for specific cementing instructions. As you can see, we begin with a 2 inch T valve. This is then attached to a 2 inch PVC, which is attached to a 2 inch elbow. The attachment from the elbows to the check valves are done through a 2 inch to 1 inch bushing. The 1 inch is threaded. A 1 inch threaded nipple is used to connect to the check valve. The same is done on the opposite end with the bushing able to connect to the other T valve that you see here. Another series of bushing to nipple to T valve connections is made to attach the outflow section of the pipe. After the center T valve outflow has been added, the other side of this pump is done the same as the first half, so we will move ahead. When constructing the dual bellow pump, it is important to remember to construct it in a successive order, with the PVC pipe being the last step. This will help avoid unnecessary difficulty when constructing the pump and threading the nipples into place. This picture shows the directional flow of water through the inflow outflow section of the pump. Next, we will demonstrate how to attach the bellow assembly. This is done by stretching the three inch strips of bicycle tubing over our two pieces of eight inch PVC pipe. Next, you must insert the rubber side of the PVC into the bellow hose. The amount of rubber used around the PVC pipe may be adjusted, increased or decreased, in order to make a more secure fitting in the bellow hose. Zip ties are used around the bellow hose to ensure a more secure fitting. The PVC shaft is attached to the bellow hose in the same way as the 8 inch PVC pipe was. It should be noted that when inserting the rubber end of the PVC into the bellow hose, it can be made easier by twisting with the helix of the hose as well as applying some kind of lubricant such as water or soap. It is now time to attach the bellow assembly to the base of the pump. This is done by inserting our 8 inch length of PVC through a 3 to 2 inch coupling. That PVC is then inserted into the base of the pump through the T-valve. Once both bellows have been attached to the base of the pump, it is time to slip the 3-inch bellow housing around the bellow tubes. The bellow housing inserts into the 3-inch coupling. The slot you see in the first bellow housing is not necessary as it is just a visual aid. Now we will watch as Joe demonstrates attaching the handle to the support system. Multiple holes were drilled in the support system to account for the change in height that you may need to attach the handles to the pump. The shaft to the pump must now be attached to the handle. This is done by inserting the handle into the 1 inch slot cut out of the PVC. Quarter inch bolts are used to fasten them together. After each shaft has been attached, the pump may be pumped. It should be noted that in this photo there is no back brace or bottom brace, which will be shown in the following picture. <laughs> 